Hello everyone, this is Joe Workman, and in this video, we're gonna be going over mobile first design and really how it differs from what we traditionally uh, use to build websites or philosophy. So what is mobile first design? Essentially, it is the opposite of what we're used to. Normally, when we want to build a website, we build it for a desktop. Then we evaluate how our site looks like on a mobile device, and we think, how can we squeeze all this content that we created for a desktop device to something that is about a quarter of the size? We've been doing it backwards. And what mobile first design uh, says is that you should design your website for a mobile device first. Because you only have 300 to 400 pixels in width and maybe, I don't know, 400 pixels tall, right? Or maybe 600 pixels tall to show your content, to make an impression on your customers that are looking at your websites on the go. So by designing for mobile first, essentially we're, we're designing for mobile and we, we make sure that we find the content that is most important to our customers. And then we enhance that as it goes up to tablet and desktop. So if we look at this mobile first design page that I've created, I have this recommended reading for you, and it's uh, why mobile first is great and why it sucks. Essentially, it says it's great for kind of a lot of the reasons I just said, right? You're, you're designing your site for mobile devices, and not only because quote unquote mobile is it's growing and blah, 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 blah. No, it's because it focuses you on figuring out what content is most critical for your customers. You don't need to have all this whiz bang flash that confuse your customers, give them exactly what they want. What do they need to see? What is the most important content? That is what you put on mobile. And chances are it will completely revolutionize what your desktop site will look like as well because you really don't need a lot of flash. Just focus on the content and give users what they want, right? And then progressive enhancement. So you start with mobile and you can gradually add things as you, uh, you know, the browser sizes go up. So you can actually provide more content on a desktop than you can on a mobile device. So again, read this recommended reading. I recommend it. And the reasons I guess I should say, the reasons why that article says it sucks is mostly just because we aren't used to it, right? We're used to designing for desktops and changing that in our mind is just different. Right, So it's a different workflow. It's going the opposite of what we've been used to uh, all these years. So that's really the only negative thing you had to say about it. And I think that says a lot uh, of things. So recommend this. Uh, I recommend this reading. Go ahead and read that. Now, without further ado, I'm going to jump in and show you why a foundation, how it uses mobile first and what you can do to actually uh, leverage it. So inside site styles, you'll notice that there is an edit mode uh, settings section. And inside there, you can say view width. So essentially, uh, let's go down and view width at mobile 640 pixels. So it's kind of a, a wide phone, right? Or if you wanted to go all the way down to mobile 320, we can do that as well. But just because for video sake, a little bit wider could be better. So we're gonna uh, set our mobile width to be 640. So now what we do is we can go ahead and start building our website as if we were building it for this particular device. Now what I do recommend is that the stacks here aren't going to know that you're actually on a mobile device. It's going to still um, you know, influence the desktop and tablet sizing. So what you need to do is you need to turn off tablet sizing and then build your content for mobile. So let's say here I wanted to have um, a header, okay, and maybe some text. And then in column two, let's say I wanted to have um, an image, okay? So on mobile, this is what I want it to look like. I want my, uh, you know, header and my text and then my image to show below that. At this point, we could just keep building our content out, right? So you can then start adding uh, you know, uh, if you wanted, you know, to do a three column below that and so on and so forth, right? So here we're, we're just focusing simply on, and remember you're gonna wanna turn off tablet sizing, 
we're focusing on exactly what our site's going to look like on a mobile device. Now, once you're happy with your web page uh, with mobile sizing, what you can do is then you go to site styles and you increase that. So then you go to tablet 768, okay? Or maybe you do tablet 1024, okay? So then at that point, what you can do is you can say, okay, for this two column, I'm gonna turn on tablet sizing. And then for uh, you know this three column, maybe maybe I want to keep that in one column on on mobile or I'm sorry on tablets. Okay. Now you can also, if you wanted to start adding content at this point, what you could do then is you can then say, uh, I'm going to add my visibility stack, and then maybe you hide uh, some content for uh, you know mobile only. Okay, so that it starts showing on tablets. Maybe you want to add and enhance your content. Okay, once uh, you know the browser size gets a little bit larger. Once you're actually happy with the content on a tablet, you can then increase, go to site styles and increase that all the way up to desktop. And then you can start doing it all over again. So this two column stack, it probably doesn't make sense. We probably want to keep it the way it is now. Uh, but maybe this three column, we now want to turn on desktop sizing for this and have it, you know, go to three columns wide uh, just for desktops. So as you see, we are progressively enhancing our web pages using foundation. Now, one caveat is going backwards, right? So trying to say, I want to go ahead and I've built my desktop site out and I want to see what it'll look like on mobile. Um, inside edit mode, really what you need to do is you need to roll back a lot of things. So you need to turn off desktop sizing, then you need to go to the two column and turn off tablet sizing, then go to site styles and, and set this to be down to mobile, right? But then the bad part is you need to go back and, and recheck all the settings that you've unchecked just now just to see it, right? So this workflow look, works great if you're really doing mobile first and then enhancing uh, your page to go to desktop, right? Hopefully, you know, maybe we can improve this in the future, but I think this is a great step forward to helping you uh, move forward with mobile first design. Now, obviously you can preview your site in, in Safari or your favorite web browser, and then, you know, change the size uh, and look at what your, you know, website's gonna look like in various devices just by changing the browser width or by using things as such as the iOS simulator that comes with Xcode. So I hope this is a great start overview for mobile first design for you. I hope that you kind of try to embrace it and think about how your content will look like and exactly what you need just for mobile and then build your websites on from there. It can really help you hone down your, your content and make your website so much more effective. So. With that information, go forth and make your websites great. Thank you very much, everybody. Have a great day. Bye-bye.